Uh, the workouts that the community did mimicked the ones that they do here on the floor. So I talked to one of the teams that compete and they said, it's nice to have some context. Second and final heat of event six is underway, and it's Michaela Norman who has the top time. Did that in the prior heat. 10 minutes, 57 seconds. And Sarah Sigmundsdaughter in the middle of your screen who came into the day with the overall lead gets to work on her first set of 40 double unders. 160 total double unders here. And they will work their way down the floor every 40. Kristen Holda in the purple, she was first. And then Sigmundsdaughter Chung and the rest of the field right behind her. This should be a good event for Chung. Kind of shades of the, the chipper from 2018, event number five. That was the year that Steph Chung qualified for, the, for her very first CrossFit Games. She also happened to win that event five chipper, which included the lunges, included those dumbbell box step overs. Kind of similar stimulus here that we're getting in this event. So uh, I would expect her to do well. Kristen Holter continues to lead on this first set of double unders. She's in the purple now on the right of your screen. Sigmund's daughter's in the middle of the green, and then Steph Chung uh, on the left. Keep an eye on Steph Chung. And then right next to her is Andrea Solberg. So Solberg's trying to cut into Chung's lead. The two of them both trying to qualify uh, for the CrossFit Games. Sigmund's daughter, Holta, both to work on their final set of 40 at the same time. Sam Briggs in the blue headband, black pants towards the bottom of your screen. She is on her final set of 40. Keep an eye on Kelsey Keel in lane number 13. Very powerful athlete. Uh, had a top finish in the snatch yesterday. A former team athlete as well with Invictus Boston. She should really shine on these lunges and, and, and these dumbbell thrusters. Keel is the athlete in the black headband in the red and white uh, top and shorts. Now Sarah Sigmund's daughter and Kristen Holta leading the way. Sigmund's daughter now in front of Holta on this first trip down the floor with those two dumbbells. 35 pounds for the women. Make that 50 pounds for the women. We're gonna trying to do the kg to pounds conversion here on the fly. So 50 pounds for the women. Men will use 70 pound dumbbells. And now Sigmund's daughter and Volta are on their first set of 24 alternating dumbbell thrusters. Sigmund's daughter has the lead. Holta is in second. Well, Steph Chung and Andrea Solberg are basically neck and neck. They are behind the two leaders right now uh, in this event. That is the race between Chung and Solberg for the invitation to the CrossFit Games. And Chung, who just moved her dumbbell, she's on the left side of your screen in those long black pants, now putting on a weight belt. She is ahead of Solberg, but it's Sarah Sigmund's daughter, who is her overall leader in this heat. And now, Kristen Holta, will join her on their final set of eight alternating dumbbell thrusters. So neither woman here having a problem with this movement. No, and it's interesting to see how each of these athletes kind of finishes this workout. Sarah typically comes out a little bit hotter in some of these workouts, whereas Kristen is a little bit more methodical, tends to pace herself. You'll see her kind of pour it on towards the end. I'm wondering if uh, Kristen's playing it a little bit conservative here, letting uh, Sarah get out in front, and maybe we might see her reel it in towards the back end of this workout. Sarah Sigmund's daughter back down the floor on the lunge. And then it will be another set of alternating dumbbell thrusters as she is opening up a lead on the woman on the right of your screen, Kristen Holta. Meanwhile, in that pink weight belt on the right side of your screen, that is Steph Chung, and she is ahead of Andrea Solberg. Solberg is in that light blue and uh, weight belt with the black pants next to Chung. So we're on the left side of your screen. Those two women are in the battle for the invite to the CrossFit Games right now with Chung coming into the day with a 30-point lead over Solberg. That was and, before the prior event. And Chung had a little slip up there. She went to squat clean the first rep, uh, fell back on her heels, got a pretty costly no rep, and it opened up the door for Solberg to make up some ground. They're basically neck and neck now. 10.57 is the time to beat. That's Michaela Norman and both Sarah Sigmund's daughter and Kristen Holta are on pace 
to smash that. Here comes Kelsey Keel on the bottom right of your screen. Approaching the five minute mark. Second and final heat of event number six. One more event for the individuals on this Saturday after this. Emma McQuaid on the right side of your screen in the white top and red shorts. As Sarah Sigmund's honor on the left in those black shorts has opened up a lead on Kristen Holta that she basically was able to pass Holta once they got their hands on those 50 pound dumbbells. And Holta has really yet to put any serious pressure here on Sigmund's daughter after that. Sigmund's daughter starting to let those dumbbells slide down her shoulders though. I wonder if she's starting to fatigue a little bit after coming out really hot in the first couple of rounds. Eight more reps for Sigmund's daughter on this set, then it's one final lunge and then a final 160 double unders before she can finish the event. Kristen Holta is solidly in second place. And then on the left of your screen in that pink weight belt, uh, Steph Chung is ahead of Andrea Solberg. So Chung looking to increase her lead over Solberg that she had at the beginning of the day. Sibid Zadra on her final reps on this set of dumbbell thrusters. Kelsey Keel, bottom left of your screen, moving up. And now Holt is starting her final set of eight. Now Sibid daughter, final lunch for her. Sigmund's daughter's about 90 seconds ahead of the pace that Michaela Norman set. So as long as she doesn't have a major slip up here, she's going to cruise to an event win. Sarah Sigmund's daughter, who did not have the finish at the games that she wanted in 2019, was 20th and did not make it into that final group of 10. Sigma's daughter is done and will work her way back to the jump rope for her final set of 160 double unders. But last year, she was in three sanctioned events and she finished in the top three in every one and she won strength and depth and she looked impressive there and she's duplicating that performance here in Ireland. Yeah, having a strong weekend so far, you know, but for the basically the fourth year in a row, we've seen a coaching change from Sarah. So this year, she's basically operating solo, kind of going uh, on her own terms and, uh, you know, not surprised to see her doing well, but the big question is, can she translate that into success in the games? And Kristen Holta is now done, and she will join Sigma's daughter on that final set of 160 double unders, but Sarah is already 40 in before Holta even gets to the jump rope. Sigma's daughter looking for her second event win of the competition won the one rep max snatch event that closed out Friday here at the Filthy 150. And she is creeping closer to the finish line. Halfway through her 160 double unders. Steph Chung about to start her last uh, lunch. She's opened up a little bit of a lead over Andrea Solberg, but just got hit with a no rep after her first step, so. Chung with her hands on her hips in the background there in the all black does not need to win this competition to get herself to the cross in games. She just needs to finish ahead of everybody else who hasn't qualified yet. As Sarah Sigmund's daughter and Kristen Holta are running away with this event, a trip for Sigmund's daughter there, but it's not going to matter. She is going to smash the time to beat. 10.57 for Michaela Norman. Is it going to last much longer? Simmons daughter's done. Second event win for the fittest woman in Iceland. Kristen Holba looking to lock up a second place finish. She is on her final set, final double unders. Holta's done, and she is in. And Kristen Holta will take second place as she keeps the pressure on Sarah Sickman's daughter. But Sickman's daughter will gain some ground, or at least gain some points, as she opens up more of a lead 
on Chris and Holden for the top spot on the overall leaderboard. Again, we need to get the updated standings from the prior event. But Sigma's daughter should still be your overall leader is now Emma McQuaid, the fan favorite here, the hometown favorite. Trying to lock up third place. And she is the only other woman right now on her final set of double unders along with, or at least farthest along on her final set. Kelsey Keel is on the right of your screen, but she is the leader on the floor right now is Emma McQuaid. Kelsey Keel on the right, and then on the left in the background is Steph Chung. Steph Chung has kind of str struggled with this first set of double unders. She finished only a few seconds behind Michaela Norman as far as the pacing goes on that last lunch. She really made a push on these double unders. She could maybe squeak in and add another person between her and Solberg to try and build that lead, but it's taken her a long time to get through this first set of 40, and it looks like she's not going to be able to uh, beat Norman's time to beat from the previous heat. Emma McQuaid is just about done, and McQuaid, hearing it from the crowd, is Emma McQuaid is going to take third in the event. And you can hear it, the, the hometown Irish fans showing up big for the fittest woman in Ireland and one of their own. Kelsey Keel getting set to finish up. I said three minutes to go on the time cap. As Michaela Norman will slide to fourth place unofficially with a time of 10.57. So Norman's not going to be, or sorry, Keel is not going to beat that. Now Steph Chung has figured things out as Keel comes across the finish line. Chung just about done. This is good news for her because she is ahead. Of Andrea Solberg, who's basically pulled who is about 10 to 15 reps behind her. If, she, if Steph Chung trips a couple times and Solberg stays unbroken, she can catch her. Solberg's on the left, Chung is on the right. Chung is done, so Steph Chung will not surrender any ground in that race with the invite to the Cross of Games. But boy, Solberg put on a charge, most due to the fact that Chung was struggling on the double unders. So Solberg's in, so she will. Do a little damage control and finish closely behind Steph Chung. Less than two minutes to go before we hit the 14 minute time cap. Again, Sarah Sigmund's daughter, your event winner, the second event win for her in this competition. Sam Briggs still on the floor in the blue headband. Spoke with Sam. Er Late last night after the event, she said this was really kind of a big, uh, big turning point event for her. She wasn't sure how her foot was going to handle the double unders. Uh, she said if she could get through this event, she'd be pretty happy because she's tested it running. She knows she'll be fine for the longer event tomorrow. But the, the double unders specifically uh, were something that she hadn't been able to test since her injury. Joey Kimden, it looks like, got across the finish line as well. So more women are starting to finish as Briggs will get inside that 14 minute time gap. And sometimes we forget that Samantha Briggs is actually human. <laughs> I mean, remember what she did on the broken foot back in 2015 at the Atlantic Regional winning that, but. And it seems like she continues to put amazing feet after amazing feet. Despite no pun the fact intended. That, yeah, yeah, I mean, and a great example of that is, you know, she hurts her foot in the open and then she comes down at 20.5 and just blows the rest of the field away. I'm still not convinced she's human, though. That is a good point. I'm not either. So, uh, Tommy DePrima, I think, also came across the finish line. Joey Kimden, is, I think, is still on the floor, but we'll get that sorted out officially uh, once we get all the official scores. But we know that Sarah Sigmund's daughter, I mean, all the work she just did, and she looks totally fresh right now. Yeah, and she still says she's not peaking. She says she hasn't quite gotten into the meat of her training cycle, and she still feels like she's got a little bit of room left to grow, at least for these next two weeks, to try and peak for, for Dubai. That's one of the impressive things about these uh, these top athletes, not just the, the output, but the, how quickly they recover. Yeah, Emily Lundberg just got across uh, the finish line. You saw her as Sarah Sigmundsdottir continues to take pictures with the fans here. Second event win of the competition for Sigmund's daughter. Depending on what happened in the last event, she has yet to finish.